Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and lock your learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSE Mathematics class 8 chapter 2 exponents exercise 2 question number 8. This is write each expression such that there is no variable A in the denominator. So in the denominator, we don't want any, so any type of variable, right? So let's see, we'll have here 3R r to power minus 2 s cube upon 12 r to power minus 3 s to power 7 so i have to remove this r and this s from the denominator how we will use the laws of exponent of division right that is what that when we are dividing two same variables then we'll subtract their powers from the one of the denominator will subtract power of the denominator from the power of the numerator so this will become what first of all 3 and 12 we can cancel 1 and 4 right now can we see anything new nothing right so now see 1 by 4 okay r minus 2 minus minus 3 why am i doing minus minus 3 here because you can see r to power minus 2 and then this r was there already minus 3 minus 2 minus 3 we will subtract them right so minus 2 and then minus and then minus 3 right same for s also s s will become 3 minus 7 because 3 was in the numerator we'll keep that as it is 7 which was there in the denominator we will subtract that right so minus 7 here that is what we we don't uh, have to write this one it has no value so i'll begin from r r minus 2 minus 3 becomes minus 2 plus 3 and s becomes minus 4 because 3 minus 7 is minus 4 right and upon 4 again because 4 is already there here in the denominators we don't have to do anything with this 4 because we only have to remove the variables from the denominators. So, with this will become r plus, uh, sorry, r to power plus 1 plus 1 we don't have to write, right? Minus 2 plus 3 that will be plus 1 only and r and then s to power minus 4. This will write that will be and upon 4 right so this becomes your answer r s to power minus 4 upon 4 final answer right don't convert minus 4 into plus 4 leave it here because if you will do minus 4 plus 4 then you will do 1 upon s which will bring s to the denominator we don't want any variable in the denominator so that is your answer now let's move on to the next part now next part is again we have another expression over here see this is 12 x cube y to power minus 2 z to power 4 upon 6 x to power 7 y to power minus 5 z to power minus 3 so same thing here right subtract the exponents and this 6 and 12 i can cut 1 and 2 okay so i have 2 okay 2 x will become 3 minus 7 y will become minus 2 minus minus 5 and z will become 4 minus and again minus 3 see what i am doing here all of these x is 7 here so i'll do x 3 minus 7 okay we will subtract the parts you keep that in mind okay so you can see that value of x is 7 in the denominator and i will take this to the numerator so it will subtract so it's 3 minus 7 y minus 2 so minus 2 okay and then minus 5 so minus 2 minus minus 5 okay whenever we are subtracting negative numbers minus sign will come two times whenever we are subtracting positive numbers minus sign will come one time right then for z, z4, z to power 4, right? And here z to power minus 3, so same thing, 4 minus minus 3, okay? 
now solve these all of them right so this will become 2 x minus 4 3 minus 7 is minus 4 y we have minus 2 minus minus plus 5 z 4 minus minus plus 3 again solve all of them so we'll have what see 2 x minus 4 y minus 2 plus 3 solve minus 2 plus 3 is 3 so 3 here and then z 4 plus 3 is also 7 right so you have what your answer as 2 x to power minus 4 y cube z to power 7 right keep that in mind that don't convert minus 2 plus now don't change this negative exponent to a positive exponent now let's move on to the next part now next part is 5 m to power 0 n to power minus 2 upon 4 m n to power minus 3 so same thing here 5 m to power 0 that you will write as 1 n to power minus 2 upon 4 m to n to power minus 3 basically 5 m to power 0 this has become 1 right and n to power minus 2 it's as it is same thing in the denominator nothing uh, nothing has changed now see here what is the most important step i need uh, this m and this n removed from the denominators the how i will do that see 1 n this 4 it can stay here i don't have to remove this 4 because only variables we have to remove guys so 4 will stay here friends right and m n to power minus 3 this we have to move so for n you can see i have n here in the numerator also and n in the denominator also right so i have it here both of these places so i don't have to do anything but for m this m variable it's all alone right uh, it's only there in the denominator only so what i will do is i will take the m to the numerator okay but see here first n minus 2 minus minus 3 okay upon 4 m first just to make it simpler for you i will take this n away from here so n minus 2 minus minus 3 because this minus 3 comes here so we'll subtract it so we'll have minus and then minus 3 which is what c n to power minus 2 plus 3 okay open the brackets you'll have plus 3 upon 4 m okay next step will be n to power minus 2 plus 3 is plus 1 so there is no point in writing plus one exponent so just write it your n nothing else upon 4m now see this i will take this m to the numerator so right i'll take it here so what will this m become m to power minus one see i am going from numerator to denominator we reciprocate so we'll have negative exponent for our number minus but if we are going from denominator to the numerator then will we have a positive exponent no then also we will have negative only so m will become negative number only right how that will happen n m to power minus one uh, if it was here like this in the denominator this was actually m to power one i am taking it to the numerator so i am getting n to power m minus one and upon here four we don't need to do anything with the four so this becomes your answer n m to power minus one upon four now let's move on to the next part now the next part is 14 a to power minus seven upon k seven to power zero a cube k to power eight so see this thing that uh k here has eight right this k it has no exponent so can i write this k as k to power one yes why not because we can write any number in form of 
a upon 1 right that is the same thing only right now see here 14 can stay as it is okay and a to power minus 4 k to power 1 upon 7 to power 0 this 7 to power 0 this can be written as your 1 a cube k to power 8 now now we will solve so see this thing we'll have 14 a to power minus 4 and 3 is over here this 3 i'll take to the numerator so minus minus 3 right and sorry sorry not minus minus 3 just minus 3 okay because this is a positive number so four, minus 4 minus 3 that's what it will be then k is 8 here so k 1 okay 1 was there already in the numerator right 1 was already there and 8 is there in the denominator so we'll do 1 minus 8 okay nothing to worry and this one where has this one gone it has gone we don't need that one because you can there is no value of that one fine so this will be what 14 a to power minus 7 k to power 1 minus 8 which is also minus 7 so 14 a to power minus 7 and k to power minus 7 that becomes our answer and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye